Hello, my name is Whiskers, and today I'm going to be talking about the Heavy Weapon Sky in Team Fortress 2. So, Heavy Weapon Sky is my main class. And since the Gun Metal update, he's gotten a few weapon changes like the other classes. And some of them have seemed to have been more buffs than nerfs, which is a good change. And today I'm going to be talking about what weapons you should be using in a more competitive scenario on certain maps and what times and situations those weapons would be useful. Uh, mainly they are uh, covering the... Oop, no wrong cause. Minigun, the Tomislav, the Natasha, and a little bit about the Brass Beast. And I'm not going to be talking about the Helong Heater because it's... Just, let's just face it, it's bad. It replaces it. In exchange for... The firing basically would replace your... Pyro and Game Sense in exchange for consuming an insane amount of ammo, which is not a good thing. So, it's not good at all. You shouldn't really be using it unless you're goofing off in a pub. But this is about competitive. I'll be talking about some changes in the gunmetal update, like Locus Bar, Family Business. Those were changed in the gunmetal update. Should you use them in competitive? No. I mean, unless you're screwing around, then I guess you could use family business for Rat Scout, but that's not a very smart idea. You should almost always be running a sandwich. It is a literal lifesaver for Magic! anyone on your team. And you can mask it. It's little... No no, 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 that just alerts the entire enemy team to your presence. You can use any voice command at a certain time, like mainly right after you get the bite out of it. You can... Use the voice command, voice. and they'll just hear that voice command. They won't hear the nom 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 for four seconds, so we'll give your position away and screw you over. So, that's pretty good. Uh, make, I recommend you try and utilize that. So, then there's the melee weapons. Before I get on the primaries, which will be... Which will be <coughs> sorry. Fist of Steel and gloves running urgently. Fist of Steel for... Less damage from range sources and gloves running urgently for faster movement speed when they're out. Overall, gloves running urgently, I don't really like them except for when you're trying to cover a long distance and trying to get to a mid fight very fast. You could use this, use them on this map. I personally don't because you can get there pretty much just as fast, but there's some of the bigger 5 CP maps you. That's a time when you would run the gloves running urgently, but mainly you should be running Fist of Steel because they're much better. And how often do you run into getting yourself meleeed unless it's a spy, which will pretty much... If they're trying to melee you, the chances are they're behind you and they'll backstab you. So, uh, really if the added weapon switch time is too much, which I don't really notice because, well, I only play with Fist of Steel pretty much. I don't really notice it. If that's something that you really notice and you just can't live with, then go ahead and throw close running urgently. But I highly recommend you get used to using the fist of steel if you're going to be heavy game. So let's finally get on to the big part of this guide, which would be primaries. Mainly covering, like I already said, minigun, Tomislav, Natasha, and Brass Beast a little bit. So, minigun. Best used in most mid-range situations, can deal consistent damage, but suffers from damage falloff in more ranged attacks and situations. So, if you're running it on most maps, chances are you're going to be able to deal some good damage. If all the bullets help hit, can't speak, if all the bullets hit, you will melt people. Put crits on it, it's a laser beam, quite literally. I'm sure you guys have heard that term before. Oh, another thing about the sandwich. You can pick up a health pack, and it instantly recharges your sandwich. Sorry, I forgot to mention that before. So. Yeah, sorry, got a little off track. Got like, oh, whoa, yeah, sandwich. You can do things with that. It's a free sandwich for about 20 seconds, which is pretty good. Um, alright, let's actually get back to the guide about the primary weapons. So, minigun. 
It can do well in most mid-range situations. Uh, you can jump around corners and get people. And you can make sure you keep your damage ramp up going. So you know, do more damage as you hold down the trigger for a longer period of time. But do be warned. It, don't go and try and attack something that's super far away with it because damage all off would be way too much and you could just run at them with the fist steel out and then get once they run out of corner jump around the corner and be like whoa and knock them that's when i would recommend you do that okay then we move on to the thomas love thomas love it's since the gun metal update it is the dominator minigun for long range situations if there's a minigun over at sewer over there where I'm shooting with the Thomas left, he's gonna win if we just sat there and did that. If he's over there, he'd probably win. Most situations that have a more longer range that go outside of the capability of the minigun, the Thomas Love can fill in that gap with its accuracy boost. And the faster um, spin up time is a really nice additive. Plus the silent spin up is pretty useful for more flanky tanky situations. So, Tomasov, pretty good. Uh, slower firing speed, it gets made up for with the accuracy, so I wouldn't really look at that as too much of a downside. Natasha, I love this weapon. I'm going to talk about it quite a bit. Well, much more than I'm going to talk about the others, because this is a really good weapon. It's a super support weapon, which I really like. If you had good teamwork, th this gun can destroy. You can use it for anything. Well, not anything, but you... If you have a team to work with, and you're communicating well, then your damage and that slowing effect can plus the your teamwork and having another player come in and soup up on the damage and the cost of stone can absolutely wreck the other team and the damage resistance is super useful I, the damage resistance is very nice it allows you to you know the last situation where say oh i'm defending last and they're uber, in, uber phase and they're all trying to escape if they fail to push. You can just slow them down, they can't escape, your team comes in and suits up the damage. And it allows you to stay there and try and absorb, so you don't retreat while they're ubered and deal as much damage as possible to the non uber players. And because of that resistance, you may might, win, yeah, might as well Kiss me. be able to survive. And if you can survive and you manage to pull that off, you could wreck your team and it would allow you to push in more because well you would have just ruined their combo flank anyone who you managed to slow down and your team was able to kill boom they're dead uh slower speed up time it can be noticeable at times but unless you're jumping around corners like this and you're like meeting up with another heavy who's already spun up and has his damage up and everything then I really wouldn't complain about it too much. Kind of like how the uh, Fist of Steel with its added weapon switch time. Same sort of thing. As you don't really notice it that much. And now we get on to the Brass Beast. Brass Beast is only really useful for certain defense situations. Where you need to basically either be a sentry and be a second sentry or replace a sentry. It's really what you become. You become a sentry. You don't move as much. You're, you're able to tank damage a little bit more, same as the way the Natasha works. And you're able to deal more damage. So, really, it's only very useful in defense. I would never recommend you use this on offense until there's an update to it. Which I don't expect there to be uh, that much of an update that would be able to convince me to use it on offense. But on defense, it can do very well. But the slow movement speed is really what brings it down. So, Brass Beast, it's decent. But, you, it, they all have their certain situations you should use them in. But, 
overall, if you want a gun that you're not going to be switching around, like, if you want to have one that's sort of a one, one size fits all kind of, kind of gun that fits every situation pretty much, it's either going to be the minigun or the Thomas Love. And if you want to be a support player, the Natasha can be very useful. It allows you to be that super support. So these three are the three I would recommend the most. The Tomislav, Minigun, Natasha. It really is up to personal preference. If you're on a longer range map though, I would highly recommend you run the Tomislav. Because that longer range would just be dominated by the Tomislav. And if you're on a more medium range map, obviously run the... If you're on something like steel, I guess, run the minigun. Like, definitely run the minigun. I, I personally run the minigun on most maps, because most maps I play are on mid-range. But on something like upward, upward is a great example of when you run the Thomas Love on both offense and defense. Except for, personally, I like to run the first point of defense for upward. I like to run the Natasha, because it allows you to be a... Kind of like how the Brass Beast would work, be a second century. But it allows you to be more of a support. And it makes it so that you can stop pushes more rather than deal damage, which I personally prefer. So, uh, they're all very useful. Uh, they all used to be useless, but then they got a little update and kind of screwed with it. And that's kind of where I came in and I'm like, okay, it's gunmetal, it's uh, officially over. I haven't seen a real guide on how to like choose your weapons for certain situations and when those weapons are useful like for all the weapons and then they just the Thomas love but I wanted to talk about the other so I think the Natasha kind of got overlooked in my opinion I had to start watching some other people use Natasha and I'm like okay that's a really good weapon man my friend's going killing so so um, I hope you enjoyed this guide. I kind of ran a little bit, got off topic sometimes. Um, this is something I'm fairly new to. I've never done one of these, but I, overall, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something from this. Um, yeah, I'll do the normal. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. You've heard this all before, ha, huh? that rhymes. Yeah, but overall, up to you. I... Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Bye.